today for the Bitcoin price. And yes, guys, this is the moment I've been waiting for for Bitcoin. Actually, let me go into the charts. I'm still not 100% healthy. I didn't want to make a video rest. But honestly, Bitcoin is right now testing the exact level I've been waiting it for to test. And yes, my almost 1 million US dollar trade is open. Right now, racking in 80, 90% in a profit. You can see it on the bottom right side. The question right now is, are we going to get the confirmed breakout? Are we going to get this? 14,000 US dollar move towards the upside? Or are we going to get faked out by Bitcoin once again. I want to talk about that. I don't want to talk only about that. No, let me quickly actually flip back the camera. I want to talk about much more actually, not only my trades. I will talk about specific altcoin picks. I am handling right now in that exact moment, my next move trading wise for Bitcoin at the exact price targets I am eyeing right now for Bitcoin in the immediate short term. Of course, I am towards the end going to show you two charts, which are indicating what the next well move for bitcoin will be might be let's talk about that watch the video until the very end smash up the like button to a new all-time high and now let's go straight into the content guys today's video is certainly an important one honestly <coughs> i'm not playing i'm not playing i would have love to chill a little bit more but i have to make this video guys i have to update you because this is actually what we've been waiting for so i'm starting on the daily candles for bitcoin and as you can see bitcoin is actually still at resistance so you can never know are we going to make the break or towards the upside or not before we are not breaking the resistance we need not only the daily close outside no we need a confirmation of the previous resistance which is then turning into support a break above the previous which is resistance which is then turning into support and yes then we can be looking out for that and something else what many people forget yes 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 i'm bullish on bitcoin all of that is true but guys before I am screaming bull market again, I want to see Bitcoin breaking the EMA ribbon. I want to see Bitcoin breaking above the 44, 45,000 US dollar level and closing a weekly above. And yes, if this is happening, then this is literally a W reversal below the EMA ribbon. One of the most epic things I've ever seen for Bitcoin. But we are not at 44,000 US dollars yet. Once we are breaking a, four, uh, a weekly candle above, that is the moment. Uh, that I'm completely going full on stupid bull market mode here for Bitcoin. And yes, let me continue. I'm not even close to be done with you. This is my trade. I opened it at 39,000 US dollars. I posted it over on Twitter. I always update you about everything. It is still open and I am going to scale this one up to 5, 10, 20, potentially 20 million US dollars once we are getting the break above this level. And of course, you might be asking right now, Chris, what is the price target? Let's talk about that. I'm actually going to show you a few very juicy things in this specific video. Let me quickly eliminate all of these Picasso paintings. If I am pulling out the measured move price target from the top all the way to the bottom, let me bring this down. Boom. You can see that the price target would equal up approximately to 56,000 US dollars if we are getting the breakout above. Please do keep in mind, once we are getting a rejection, we have to expect at least a retest of the upward sloping support, 38. I think every one of you knows wouldn't be the biggest problem, right? Uh, we, we just didn't break out yet, so I wanted you to, um, to stay a little bit more calm. Also, I was posting earlier here, actually, that that was a funny post. Just screenshot it and try to understand it later. Um, I was posting actually a lot of different things. What altcoins I'm buying that I was buying uh, Ape, of course, as you know, I was buying it. Um, I was selling my airdrop and then I was buying it back again, made a significant profit. I posted it. I had like 800, 900,000 US dollars in Ape after I actually sold my initial airdrop. Uh, I was posting that I'm smelling this crypto pump, of course, not confirmed yet. And I was also posting that, oh, by the way, I am actually um, nominated for the influencer of the year and you can vote there of course vote for your favorite just don't vote blindly for me if you actually think me yes fine if you think someone else vote for them no problem i retweeted that on my twitter but i was also posting that i'm buying more bnb bnb is interesting actually right now chart wise extremely interesting testing resistance and now broke out i posted at 397 us dollars and right now bnb is already at 405 us dollars 
also approximately about to confirm soon the breakout. Yes, I am getting vigilant on Bitcoin trades right now. I am getting vigilant on, Ethe uh, on Ethereum and also on Alcon accumulation right now in this exact moment. The reversal is not confirmed yet, but I am getting since weeks the, for the first time very, very active again. Guys, please smash up the like button to a new all-time high if you appreciate these videos no matter where I am, no matter when I am. Even if I'm a little bit sick, please smash it up. Let me know that you're watching this, that you appreciate that. I would truly appreciate it. If you just click the like button, you share the video, you leave your comments down below. That would be truly appreciated. And now let me quickly talk about these charts. And honestly, before I go into it, Keep in mind, in the pinned comment down below, you get a 4,100 US dollar bonus on Bybit alone in total, almost a 10,000 US dollar bonus. If you click the link down below, only as experienced trader, you can get these bonuses for free and you can trade with the free bonuses and with the profits from these free, uh, free bonus uh, trades as well. Please keep in mind, this is only for experienced trader. I truly mean it. I'm not just saying it, I truly mean it. Be an experienced trader before you ever use any of these links. And now, <coughs> Sorry, let me talk about this. So what you can see basically here, the gray line, is denominating the long-term holder supply, uh, the, the price, sorry, the price of Bitcoin. Whereas the orange line is the total supply held by the long-term holder. So the price, you are familiar with that, right? And now let's look at the orange line. It looks like anti-cyclical. So the lower the price goes, the higher the orange line goes. The higher the price goes, the lower the orange line goes. Why? Well, that means, just simply, whenever we are going to a top of a bull market, long-term holders, hence the smart money, is unloading their bags. Whenever we are going into a bear market, they are filling up their bags. It's interesting. The story is not full yet, but it happened here again. 64,000, boom, they were selling. And actually, they were accumulating. The smart money was accumulating all the way here, even though we went to 69. And now listen closely, guys. Let me show you this. If we are going on the flip side to the short-term holders, it looks the exact opposite. This is not the smart money. Smart short-term holders, sorry if I'm offensive, but that's the weak money. That's the new money. That's the, I don't say stupid money, but it's not the smart money. That's for sure. Whenever we are on a bull market high, that's when the short-term holders are the peak of their holdings. That's when they are accumulating and they are selling in a bear market. And now look at this. That's interesting. At 64, we had a high. And right now, right now, actually, both of these metrics are down. Right now, both of these metrics are indicating, hey, this is interesting. Maybe, maybe we are bottoming out. Maybe we are close to bottoming out. Why is the smart money right now accumulating? Why is the dump money right now selling? It's the same thing at every bottom. I'm not saying this is for 100% certainty the bottom. Just looking on-chain, on the Bitcoin blockchain, at the on-chain behavior of long-term and short-term holders, this is pointing to this exact direction. Let me know what you think about that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we are going to see you very soon at the next one of MM Crypto. And as always, guys, as always, bye-bye.